Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Casey DeWitt, and you're on Buick DeWitt's YouTube channel. In this video, we are talking about the Springfield, Missouri Underground Caves, which is where we're at. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the caves from Google, because I don't know much myself. So I'm going to Google everything, and I'll show you around the caves just a little bit. So I work down here, and I've come down here for years. A lot of people don't know about the caves, but this video is all about the Springfield, Missouri Underground Caves, so let's go and check it out. Come on. Make sure you leave a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment. Make sure you subscribe to the Do It DeWitt's channel. Me, glad you're here. I'm on my way to uh, the undergrounds, which is kind of funny because my girlfriend, she had a interview down at the undergrounds and during the interview they asked her um, do you know anything about a uh, cold zone or do you know anything about the Springfield Missouri caves or the caves or anything she's like yeah I know a lot about the undergrounds and they laughed because they're like so you must know somebody down here or something she's like why like because People who have never been here before that we've uh, interviewed and they've never been here before, they don't call it the undergrounds. So yeah, my boyfriend uh, is a professional driver and works down here. Um, so I'm down here all the time. So, but we are going to the Springfield, Missouri caves, uh, the underground, they have, uh, if I remember right, it's like 250 million feet down below, but I'm going to uh, show you uh, the caves today. Um, I've been coming here for years. I've been coming here since I was a kid. My dad, he was a driver, and uh, he's brought me down here before, but let's go check it out. Alright, so... There is the Springfield Underground sign. We are on Division right now. We're turning on the Comps Road from Division. We are now on North LeCompt Road. And there are only three entrances to uh, the, the caves here. Call it Springfield Undergrounds, the Undergrounds, the caves, whatever. But this is 1904 right here. Southeast entrance, north entrance is ahead. But if you have 1904, that's where you go, right there. Me, my semis parked up here. And then you also have these buildings. These, hopefully you guys can see that. That's building nine. So that right there is above building nine. And that is how they keep the air fresh. It's how they cycle the air. It's you have the buildings up here above the buildings down below there and it gets fresh air and pushes it down in there now i'm on private property going to my tractor this if you got to go to the guard shack which i forget what address they give you for this because i don't have an address i've got a, a special password for everything that lets me in everywhere but this is the guard shack to where all of the semis go to that's the guard shack to where all the semis go to and they park all right so we're up here by the trailers, the guard shack. You can't go in that gate. Do not try to go into that gate. But if you're coming down the hill or off of Kearney, that right there is off of Kearney. 
come down the hill to building three to your right, right here. To the north entrance, and then you'll come here. And you'll put in your code. And once you're inside, you have building two immediately to your left, building four immediately to your right. If you come in here, drivers, park like he's parked, but you need to park more up to the first pillar. Otherwise, you'll block traffic. You have building four to your right, which they've got all these docks to the sign. And right now you are in the uh, Springfield Underground Caves. You have this hole. You will lose satellite reception. Now down here to our left at the stop sign will be building 9. See? Right there's building 9 for you. Now, we came in one entrance. To our left, here, we'll just go left, and I'll show you the other exit. They have signs everywhere, buildings five through six, so we will go this way for you. Signs everywhere that tell you everything. This is still building nine right here. Yes, we do get trains down here. Buildings five through six are down here. I'm going to, this is the quickest way to the 1904 exit to where you have to park your semi, walk into the guard shack, check in. We got building five down there to the left. That is just a dead end. This is building six. Stop and go in right there, building six. That is the exit. Now we just did one big major loop. Because that is going up the hill to the guard check where 1904. Your address is 1904, that's where you go. This is building seven. And then there's running water over there. We're gonna come back up to building 19. That's building 14. To our left will be building 19, if I remember right. I never come back this, uh, this far. Yeah. So right here is building 19. We made a huge circle. Building 19 is the last building down here. And it is far and it is deep. That's building 19. And it goes all the way down here. Still building 19. See? There are even holes down there. They're still doing construction. And we have what is called MODOK. MODOK keeps their salt down here. That's all salt. That's all salt. MoDOT keeps their uh, salt down there, down here. Um, which I'm not going to go down there because they're still doing construction. I think that they're still building on the cave. We're going to go straight, this building 19, to your left. 
We're gonna go straight and come back up to the way that we went. Or to the way that we came in. Got building eight to your right. Building 10 in front of you. Where Ozark is going to the left, that takes you to more buildings. And you know what? I'll actually go left. If we go right, that is the exit. That's where we came in from. These Springfield caves, see, there's that car. These caves are small. Building 11's down here. But it's literally all that it is. Yeah, building a lab. Building 10. Basically, all this literally is just a place for somebody to come and deliver food or pick up food. And now we are going to go back to the exit, the way that we came in. We're back to the exit. And we are back to the north entrance, north exit. So, eh, that's just a roundabout for you. All right, so while I'm thinking about it really quick, I'm gonna show you uh, 1904. Right in front of me is Kearney Street. That is Kearney. You will turn right on LeCompte Road, which we're on LeCompte Road. Do not get into the turn lane. Do not get in this lane. Come over here and stay in the driving lane, all right? You will pass the National Guard Armory do not turn that way. That street leads you to the guard shack. Do not turn on it. Come across the railroad tracks. Do not go down that road. Do not go down that road. It is windy and curvy and you'll have to suck everything up in order to get through. You'll come down about half a mile, roughly. And to your left, you'll be able to see all the trailers.
or that white told turned is where we will turn southeast entrance drivers if your bills say 1904 this is where you will come right here This right here is 1904. You will come in here. And you will find a parking spot. And when I say 1904, I mean 1904 Leconte Road. You will find a parking spot. You will park. And then you will walk up to the building and check in. Yes, right there it says to check in, call 417-425-0614. And all of the years that I've been doing this, that number has literally never worked. It rings until the answering machine, and you leave a message, nobody calls you back, and you call and call and call, and then you get a busy tone, and then the last time I called it, it didn't even ring. It just, da 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 So, you park, and you go inside where it says check-in. This is 1904 East LeCompte Road, if your bill of lighting says that. All right, and I'll show you the exit. Literally, same place. That is, you more than likely won't have that. That's for like JB Hunt and Drop Yard and stuff. We're obviously expanding it. it. When you get your dock door, you'll come up to this gate. And you'll press the button and tell them where you're going. But this is how you get out of this. where you stop and park and walk across and then you are back up to Lecompte Road I would not advise going left to Division because that's a hard turn if you want to get to the highway from here go right go towards Kearney Street Kearney Street will give you access to Highway 65, which will give you access to I-44 immediately. And that is, if your bill of lading or bills say 1904, that is where you go. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so... You're probably getting off 65 South or 65 North more than likely. Probably not coming down Kearney Street like I am right now. So you'll either get off there, make your left. Not this light, but the light directly in front of me, it is always red once you get off the highway. So you'll stop. that light or if you're coming north you'll be getting off of here now this turn lane where this semi is at is a yield it is not a stop do not stop it says yield do not stop there yield you'll get into this right lane but it's a turn only lane. I typically go down because right here to our right is the underground. You'll see this huge sign. Springfield Underground. We come in here. That is the guard track up there on the hill. You have the north entrance. With building three. So this is coming off of Kearney. If you come off Kearney, you can either check in at building three, which is not typical for OTR drivers. 
more than likely, you're going to have to go right up the hill to the guard shack. So that way, and keep going and check in. Okay, so you come into the north entrance, you put in your, well, you guys would call the guard shack and check in. I put in my special code. Immediately to your left again is building two. Come in. If you are going to building four, you stay to your right like this. Do not stop at the line and pull all the way forward to about right here and stop. So I'm done being loaded, I'm sealed, I've got my bills and everything else, so I'm going to show you pulling out the best that I can. doing construction North entrance exit. So if we were to go that way, that'd be down Corny. We're going up the hill. Food, the barbecue. 
barbecue. And do not try to go in those gates. You cannot go in those gates. Then you have parking over there. And then the guard shack. And for the most part, that's all of uh, the caves right there. You have these buildings that circulate air above every building. Almost forgot to film this for you guys. Yes, the underground caves does get um, trains. Spring from Missouri Underground Caves does get trains.